Hi. Okay, so yesterday we talked about parking, how memories get stuck in your, in your brain. And now I'm going to be talking about reverse. What I'm going to be saying is not cognitive therapy. It's something different than that. Picture it like um, seeing a horror movie. And unless you have some type of connection to the actor playing a victim, then your emotional connection is to the one that was the murderer. And a lot of times you only see their face at the end of the movie. That's the part that sticks in your head. It's the same thing with trauma. The worst of it sticks in your head. So what I want you to do is I want you to go in reverse. Go back to when it happened, but a few minutes before that. What else was going on? Were you, let's say, um, Mandalay Bay, before all that shooting started? You were with a huge group of people, everybody enjoying themselves, having fun, and then it happened and people were running for their lives, people were getting shot, maybe you saw somebody getting shot, maybe you got shot. And that is the part that sticks in your brain. But when you go back, you see everything else that happened too, because all that entered into your brain too. Even though the part that you're focusing on is the worst that happened. So. What happened in Mandalay Bay was you had people that were protecting others. They were protecting some of the people they were with. They were protecting total strangers. You saw people being carried out. You saw people leading the way. You saw people going back to get others. There were so many wonderful things that happened, but the thing that stuck in your brain, that thing that was trapped, had more power than the rest of what happened. So when you go back, when you reverse, take a different look at everything that was around you, because whether it was the Boston Marathon bombing. You saw people cheering and runners running and then an explosion. But then you saw complete total strangers rushing to help others. You saw them coming even after the second bomb went off, not knowing if there was going to be another one or not. And they rushed to help others. Remember the goodness that also happened in that traumatic event. Think about all the people that came to comfort you after it happened. When, you know, you, you had anything that happened in your life and people were told about what happened and they responded to try and comfort you, to try and give you sympathy, to try to give you what you needed, to just do their part to make things a little bit better for you. Try to remember all that. That's what reversing does. It's not cognitive therapy where you go back and you repeat what happened over and over and over again because that really gets you nowhere. And it's very uncomfortable, it's very unpleasant. So, just go into reverse for a little bit. So that then you can turn around, go in neutral, and get a little rest. And that's what we'll be talking about tomorrow. See you next time.